Hello, with the Nonsectarian Sectarian Brat, and this is a video about the government's religious fanaticism and its relation to public health in Greece. There are other, maybe equally or more significant aspects of the problem, such as the budget cuts and understaffing the public healthcare system, that we will not cover in this video. The situation in Greece concerning safety and precaution measures for COVID-19 is desperate. The current government is not only deeply religious, but is also a fanatical government that promotes obscurantism. The Prime Minister, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, met with the Archbishop Hieronymus to ask for help by the Orthodox Church concerning the public health issues raised by the first COVID-19 patients in Greece. Following their meeting, the Holy Synod issued a directive sent to every metropolitan church in Greece. The directive basically asked for the people to pray more, not panic, follow the medical authorities' orders concerning hygiene and temporarily abstain from attending mass if they present symptoms and take special care if you belong in a vulnerable group such as the elderly, etc. The CDC, though, had already published a PSA in 2019 stating that the virus may also be transmitted by asymptomatic carriers. So, basically, the joint efforts of church and state amount to pray more, wash your hands, and eat from the same spoon in crowded churches, because that's how you receive communion in the Orthodox Church. Astonished by this, we call the National Agency for Public Health, NAPH or LD in Greek, and ask if the coronavirus can pose a threat when receiving Holy Communion. The answer was, it's safe. You can watch the video with English subtitles. The video made the rounds in social media, and almost every major news outlet in Greece has published the story. Disturbed by the news, more citizens and news reporters have called the NAPH, only to get the same answer. The same day, 21 out of 24 returning pilgrims to Jerusalem were tested positive for the virus, led by, by a priest that was also found to be positive. The NAPH has yet to issue an official PSA concerning the communion. On the contrary, Eleni Yamarelu, a leading infectious disease specialist, stated on the radio that if you believe in God while you receive communion, you're absolutely safe from any infectious disease. The political position took notice and began to make public statements. The previous Prime Minister, Alexis Tsipras, asked the NAPH to stand up to their responsibilities and change their anti-scientific and dangerous stance, similarly to other Catholic and Orthodox majority countries. Following the XPM, a health minister of the previous government, Pavlos Polakis, accused the NAPH for Christian Talibanism and for showing cowardice against the church, putting the people in danger. At some point, the state had shut down schools, universities, kindergartens, cinemas, sports stadiums, bars, cafes, restaurants, beaches and ski resorts, but not churches, apart from a single church that had both its priests tested positive for COVID-19. The governing party's vice president and ex-minister of health, Adonis Georgiadis, attended church and received Holy Communion, along with other ministers of the government the country's president and top police officials. He then proclaimed on a nationwide TV station that he trusts the church's government, that atheists should keep quiet about the subject and he will not have a conversation with them. The prime minister addressed the public concerning social distancing measures and asked for the church to follow the government's example and make the right decision. The Holy Synod, as well as individual high-ranked priests, insisted that Christians are safe against the virus when receiving communion and, even more so, receive healing of body and soul because they are literally eating the body and drinking the blood of Christ. One of them went as far as saying that if it's spilled, it's so safe that priests lick it off the floor. The peak of the church's irresponsibility was when the Holy Synod announced live on national television that it's impossible to contract the virus both by receiving Holy Communion and by attending the Holy Ceremony. It's a bitter irony that the station's logo featured the stay-at-home sign, specially made for the current pandemic. The next day, the Holy Synod held a lengthy emergency meeting and marginally decided to keep the churches open for individual prayer and hold a single hourly communion ceremony every Sunday, basically collapsing under the public and state pressure. The PM then decided to forbid the weekly communion ceremony 
but still keep the churches open for individual prayer. News reporters revealed the conversation held by the two party leaders, PM and XPM, earlier in the day. It is unacceptable to shut down everything and make exceptions for the church. They should have been shut down from the beginning. It's been two Sundays with the virus spreading rapidly and the church is full of people. Especially during the Sunday of Orthodoxy and a number of your MPs calling for the people to receive communion. It was unacceptable. I hope this didn't cause us a great deal of damage. My position from the beginning was that they should be shut down. So why didn't you do it? I want to give time for the church to decide it on their own. This time may prove to be fatal for our fellow people. If they don't decide it tonight, I'll do it. Hieronymus, the Archbishop, had a telephone conversation with Alexis Tsipras right before the Synod's emergency meeting, where Tsipras encouraged the Hieronymus to take initiative in keeping the public safe from COVID-19. Hieronymus replied that he is determined to take responsibility for something that the state should have taken long ago. One cannot miss the hint that both the head of state and the head of church had a fairly good understanding of the problem, but each avoided taking responsibility and wanted the other one to take the blame. Hieronymus wanted to avoid for the church to appear non-magical, in fear of losing superstitious followers and for himself to lose face among the synod. Mitsotakis didn't want to make enemies with the church, lose his ultra-conservative voters and create internal friction for his right-wing government, all at the expense of his own supporters' lives and the lives of the rest of the Greek people. So, how can a strong believer trust the government if they say that it's up for the church to decide? How can everybody else commit to the importance of emergency safety measures when they have witnessed the government prioritizing the safety of the church's magical soap bubble against the flattening of a pandemic's case and death curves? Despite the Prime Minister's address for the people to stay home, People to crowded walks by the thousands and argued with the police when advised not to. The governing party's vice president and ex minister of health made a PSA in a supermarket among a crowd of news reporters, ironically concerning the social distancing measures in supermarkets. A citizen made a Twitter comment about the potential danger of this act, only for Adonis Georgiadis to reply, it's safe, I have been tested, as if the test constitutes a vaccine. In the following days, the ex-minister of health appeared wearing a mask. The church seems to not be greatly affected by all this as they began blessings of supermarkets and even started a door-to-door -door delivery service of Holy Communion with their priests. Speaking of spiritual consumerism, believers are still attending church using the same 1 per 10 square meter supermarket safety protocol, but they have been spotted to wear masks and take them off in order to kiss the icons. The NAPH's press representative Sotiris Tsiodras more than 20 days ago had accurately announced that the agency plans to only test the serious cases. NKU8 State University's STEM Teachers Association has called out Tsiodras for unscientific practice. An infectious disease specialist and head of the Ministry for Health's COVID-19 operation, Tsiodras is a father of seven and was also a shanter in the Orthodox Church of Kivisya until recently. Last Sunday, chanted again in a closed church, with a small crowd gathering outside being treated with rosemary by the church. The public means of transport feature an advert that reads, Trust the experts and scientists. If you develop symptoms, contact the NAPH. Mitsotakis often blamed the situation on antisocial behavior on behalf of the public. Last week, he addressed the public again, stating that, unless the people intensify their social distancing, the government will have to take drastic lockdown measures after the weekend. The lockdown took effect on Monday, but still, neither the police nor all the citizens take it seriously. The NAPH advises medical staff to work without protection measures in case of material shortage. Patients are urged to stay at home even if they are in a vulnerable group such as the 20th victim of the virus in Greece. The 41-year-old mother of three passed away at home after following the NAPH's personal advice on the phone, despite her having reported being an asthmatic that presented COVID-19 symptoms. The NAPH avoided taking the blame, with Tiodras responding to the case by urging citizens to be in contact with their personal doctor. 
Social distancing and tests are the main two weapons in our current arsenal against the virus, but both have been partially compromised by the government. Has the promotion of religious obscurantism come back to bite us in the most critical moment? Has the Greek majority lost their trust in science and in the authority's sense of responsibility? And if yes, have they rightly done so?